Now that we have the overall structure with us, we will be adding effects to make our gallery stand out. First of all, select the Home button layer. Open up the Layer Style options. Move over to the Drop Shadow tab. Set its angle to 90 degrees. Distance to 1px. Spread to 0%. Size to 1px. And click on the OK button to apply it. Similarly, copy the layer style and apply it to the rest of the buttons. Move over to the sidebar group, expand the categories option, go to the layer style options of the head shape layer, and click on the gradient overlay tab. In this tab, click on the gradient option, select B3B3CC color for the left side, and 728DA0 for the right side. Select the Reverse option, increase the scale to 150%, and click on the OK button to apply it. Now move over to the List Shape layer, open up the Layer Style options, and click on the Gradient option. Choose E2, E, 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 E for the left, and D8, D, D, E, 0 for the right side. Select the Reverse option, set the scale to 100%, and click on the OK button to apply it. In the same way, apply these settings to the rest of the category menu. Once done, go to the Add Space layer, open up the Layer Style options, click on the Outer Glow tab, keep the Blend Mode to Normal, Opacity to 100%, Noise to 0% and choose E6F0F4 for the color. Set the technique to softer, spread to 100%, size to 5px, range to 50%, jitter to 0% and move over to the stroke tab. In this tab set the size to 1px, position to inside, Set the color to B6C1C6 and click on the OK button to apply it. After applying these effects, decrease the opacity of this layer to 25% and apply the same settings on the other Add Space layers. Now select the background layer of the sidebar, open up the Layer Style options, move over to the Drop Shadow tab, keep the Blend Mode to Normal, Set the opacity to 40%, angle to 90 degrees, distance to 5px, spread to 0%, size to 10px, and click on the OK button to apply it. Once this is done, move over to the main page group, expand the IMG1 category, the first placeholder in the gallery. Select the heading text layer and open up the layer style options. Now move over to the Drop Shadow tab, keep the Blend Mode to Normal, Opacity to 50%, Distance to 1px, Spread to 0%, Size to 1px, and move over to the Color Overlay tab. In this tab choose 28373E for the color and click on the OK button to apply it. Apply these settings on all of the text layers. Open up the Layer Style options of the main category text layer, set the size to 0px in the Drop Shadow tab, and click on the OK button to apply it. Open the Layer Style options of the Head Shape layer, move over to the Gradient Overlay tab, select B3B3CE for the left gradient, and 728DA0 for the right side. Open up the Layer Style options of the Body Shape layer. Click on the Stroke tab, set its size to 1px, position to Inside, Color to BBC0C4, and click on the OK button to apply it. In a similar way, apply these settings on all the image holders. Once done, select the Star Shape layer, open up the Layer Style options, click on the Stroke tab, Set its size to 1px, position to Inside, choose 7892A4 for the color, and click on the OK button to apply it. 
you can apply the same style to all the star layers in this document. Now open up the layer style options of the page selection shape, click on the drop shadow tab, and change its distance to 1px, spread to 0%, size to 1px, and click on the OK button to apply it. Add noise to the background to make it more dynamic. Open up the layer style options, click on the drop shadow tab, keep its blend mode to normal, opacity to 40%, distance to 5px, spread to 0%, size to 10px, and click on the OK button to apply it. 